happen when you are a religion in religion or religious i'm gonna tell you what happened when you are in religion and you become religious my friend you like a person that wake up the next day and say god is fake they say god is fake see god is not in a box let me say this god is not in a box and like in the old testament how the priests or those that would carry the box around so god will be in the kind god will be in a box my friend god is not in a box and a lot of those guys that that once was christians they once was believers on a sudden now they say the bible is fake they say god is fake god is all those character are not real hallelujah because they so-called start reasoning and start thinking and what happened look at the book of romans romans say that chapter 1 verse 25 he say when they knew god and when you when you knew god my friend they become wise they become foolish why because of their carnality because of their carnal thinking my friend you can't expect to know god through your carnality you gotta know God through your spirituality. It take God, it take you to know God through spirit because God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So all those God that act going on rampage is about God is fake, the Bible is fake. Those characters are, are fake. They know such person as, as Paul and John and David all those people, my friend, are fake. All those pastors that's backslid and become a heretic. That's all they are. Fake, my friend. Bible say, listen, Bible say, the Bible say, and glory to God, that in uh first in, in Romans chapter one uh, verse twenty-five, let let's say twenty-one, they say, because that when they knew God, they glorify him not as God. Neither were thankful, but because but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened, professing themselves to be to be wise, then became fools. So all those guys that 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 say that the Bible, this holy book, it is fake, these guys are heretic. These guys, my friend, they got invaded, invaded by Satan because Satan, he want to be full of pride. The reason why Satan got kicked out of heaven because Satan was trying to be God. So all these guys that say that, that God is fake, the Bible is fake, these guys have interview with Satan. They got interview with Lucifer. They got interv interview by the, the, the carnal thinking. Because here you are man, hey glory to God, was once a pastor, once believing God, and you got you got tempted. I'm not gonna say test, because tests elevate you, tests promote you, but you got tempted by Satan. And all of a sudden now you start saying the Bible is fake. God is fake. And you start saying, thinking, reasoning, and thinking. My friend, the Bible says, let's reason together. Though your sin be a scarlet, they shall be whiter than snow. So if you are a mortal man, it's like it's like the pot telling the, 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 the potter or the potter telling the, the pot, why make me? Hey, glory to God. My friend, the, I never, I never, or oh, I've seen a dog go against his master and the dog end up dying. God is so merciful. God is making, give you opportunity to recognize him. 
Now, I understand the atheist, but a heretic, they once believed in God. Now they're going against what they once believed. Hey, they like the backslider. They like the the Bible say if they was of us, they would have they would they would remain with us, but they're not they was not with us. Say they, so these guys pretend to be something which there was not in the beginning, and all of a sudden they start reading the African religion or the ancestor religion. So what happened? When you become religion, in religion, and become religious, you'll never have a relationship in the beginning because you become very religious. So you you worshiping, con, uh, 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 you worshiping the the statues, and you worshiping King Tuck tombs, and you worshiping the, the sun, the the S U N, you worshiping the moon, you worshiping the star. All these things are are traditional, and they are religion into religion. What happened when you become religion or religious, my friend? You forget who and whose you are. You think you are gods. And we know the Bible say in, in Psalm 84, you be you are gods, but you're gonna be die like mortal men. We're gonna be, we're gonna be judged one day. <laughs> so by you saying that the Bible is fake, amen. You're gonna be judged for everything you have spewed out of your mouth of saying what this book has done for you. I can't say the Bible is fake because the Bible has changed my life. Hey, glory. The Bible, glory to God, have, have, have brought my, me from a mighty, from Jamaica to America. And the Bible is, is bringing me to, a, to another channel, dimension. Hey, glory to God. I've experienced so many, so many things since I've been saved. Not saved according to the, the church standard. Speaking in tongues and you leave church, you want to fight. You, you're, you're in church, you sit in somebody's seat, they, they, they'll cuss you out. And they, and they say, I'm going to give you peace in my mind. And, and they wall them on the floor. My friend, I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying that when you experience God, you don't feel something. But a lot of people have put God in a box. Hey, glory to God. Because there's some people that shout and some people don't shout. Amen. So I'm not going to say a person that shout don't have God. And people that don't shout don't have God because the, the even though the Bible say, my friend, let everything have breath, praise he the Lord. So a lot of you all guys, y'all put God in a box. You say people can't experience God out of the box because you have put him in a box because y'all very religious. But this is what the Bible say. The Bible say in the book of James, if any man seem to be religious, and bridling on his tongue, this man religion is in vain. But if you are religious, you visit the fatherless and the widows and keep yourself unspotted from the world. That's religious. So if you don't meet those criteria, if you're a person, you don't bridle your tongue. If you're a person that's unspotted from the world, if you're a person that visit the fatherless and the widow, my friend, the Bible says your religion is in vain. So what happened when you are religious or in religion, you miss God? Well, I say you miss God because people think they call you a Buddhist. You a Hindu. How can you be a Christian and in Hindu? How can you be a Christian, my friend, and Buddhist? How can you be a Christian in Chanto? How can you be a Christian and be a witch? Because you are religious and you're in religion. Hey, glory to God. And I'm not, and I'm not being, hey, glory to God, uh, uh, let's say legalistic now. But if you are Christian, you look different. You, hey, because the Bible says, let your light shine, that men, that men may see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. So uh, a Christian woman don't, don't, don't show a breast. A Christian man don't wear tight pants. Hey, glory to God. A Christian woman don't look like a clown. You got all this makeup on your face. You're wearing a mask. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Christian women don't wear expensive dresses. Christian men don't wear money suits called $2,000. Because the Bible says Solomon was not rare like none of these. 
Hallelujah. So you are that are religious and in religion, you're going to miss God because you're into yourself and not in the world. The Bible says if your righteousness don't surpass the scribe and the Pharisee, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. What is saying? Don't be like this. Don't be like the so much self-righteous. You right and everybody wrong. Hallelujah, like Elijah Muhammad, like, like, like Elijah the prophet. He said, I'm the only one that have not kissed the feet of, of, of Jezebel. But Jesus Christ, God said, I have more that have not bowed at, at, at Jezebel's table. So I'm saying, anytime you are so religious, so self-righteous, he go to God, you gonna miss God and you're gonna become miserable. Like the church of Laodicea, I call it church of lay back and see. They say we are rich, increased with good, and we don't need of nothing. Why? Because they was rich in goods, and they don't need nothing. And Jesus, and God say, Jesus say, you're either hot or cold, but lukewarm. I'm gonna vomit you. I'm gonna reject you from my sight. It was it was seven church on a one church made it. And that was the church of Philadelphia, the church of brother of love. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what happened when you are religion in religion and religious. You're going to miss God. And a lot of people on the sound of my voice, they are missing God because you are self-righteous. You think you're the only one that's righteous. You're the only one I feel with the Holy Ghost. You're the only one going to make it to heaven. My friend, we ought to be humble. And Satan gets us into the, the frame of mind by saying, I'm the only one. It's me, 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 and nobody else. Satan's spirit, my friend. Amen. Satan tempt Eve with pride. If you take this fruit, you're going to be like God's knowing good and evil. And, a, and the Bible says she picked the fruit when God told Adam, Adam, tell your wife, don't pick of every tree in the, in, the, in the garden. Hallelujah. You can touch, but the tree of good knowledge, don't touch it. Hallelujah. That's why I'm not changing the subject. Same subject. Uh, uh, I'm doing a, a young girl, young lady. She's a lesbian. Amen. And you can be so religious. Amen. And miss your calling over your life. It's like your life is like a train. And Satan derailed the train. Your life is a train, a train, and Satan comes and whispers in your ears and say, love the same sex. You a girl, nobody looking. You, you are adult now. Nobody can tell you what to do. You are adult now. You can love the same sex. And what happened? From a child, the Bible say the little foxes that spoil the vine. That little fox, my friend, not gonna stay little for a long time. That little fox gonna become a big fox, and the fox gonna be out of control. So I'm telling you, anytime you are religion and, and become religious, look at witches. Witches think they are spiritual. Hey Amen. A person that's psychic, psychic, they think they're spiritualist. They're spiritual. Because they have phenomenon, they have they have supernatural power. Hey, that's why my friend, prophecy. <laughs> Let me say this: prophecy is not about a, a a fortune cookie. Prophecy is not telling somebody that you're gonna go to Africa next week or you're gonna get a brand new car. But no, my friend, that's not prophecy. What is prophecy? I'm gonna tell you what prophecy is. Hey, go to God in the book of uh, first of uh, first uh, 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 Corinthians. Amen. First Corinthians, the 14th chapter. Amen. And and look, this is what I say. Uh, 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 the first uh, uh, first first Corinthians, the 14th chapter, verse number. three. Three say, but he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. That what prophecy is, my friend. Prophecy is not about foretelling. Anytime you that's what's wrong with people now, they they're too religious. 
They're too much into religion and not into the word of God. My friend, anybody come to you and tell you that tomorrow this is going to happen to you? My friend, the devil can't give you the gift. Hallelujah, glory to God. But the Bible say, he that prophesied, listen, but he that prophesied, speaking unto men to edification, exhortation, and comfort. That's the role of a prophecy and a prophet. It's not the foretold. It's not no psychic hotline. It's not no fortune cookie. But that's wrong. That's what's wrong with Christendom. They got too many people that, that are spiritual. But are spiritual according to their own idea. They got in the basement. They got in their own house. And not according to the, or the Holy Scripture. Y'all so religious. And so much into religion. You miss God. And Satan is teaching you. Satan exalting you. Satan give you all his power and another power. What do you think a lot of a lot of pastors? Uh, hallelujah. They're into uh, Luciferian. They are masonaries. They are mason, my friend. Hey, glory to God. They are thirty degree masons. They wear a a a a. a a, a ring on their finger, and they got a compass. They got a ruler, my friend. They are masons. Hallelujah. I can go with the list, but I'm not going to do it, my friend, because I ain't got time. But I'm telling you, people are too, so religious and into religion, they miss God. Hallelujah. And it look like all these pastors, hey, what so-called pastor, they get hung up, hallelujah, in perversion, get hung up being the players, get hung up. You got a dastard say that, hey, Lord, God knows they got sex problem. The Bible talk about the belt of truth, which is to protect your loin. Hallelujah. Protect your sexual organs. But y'all so religious. Y'all so into religion. Y'all miss God. Hallelujah. You got a destiny to say the Bible is fake. Hallelujah. Glory. God is so merciful. You remember Ananias and Pharaoh? Hey, glory to God. The Bible say, hey, he lied to the Holy Ghost and he dropped dead. And his wife came back and dropped dead also. And the Bible say, my friend, the church fear. I believe the Bible. I believe the word of God. I don't play with God. Him because God, my friend, it take time. God gonna show up in your life. And that's all I have to say, my friend. Why people are so religious and so religion into religion and miss God. Amen. Glory to God.